Hello everybody and welcome to I Scrap Happy Video. This is a quick tutorial showing you guys how you can create these rosettes using your Martha Stewart scoreboard. Timmy has, Tim Holtz has a die out that you can use to create this, but if you already own the scoreboard, um, you do not have to run out and get that die. This is just an easy, cheaper way of um, creating the um, rosettes. And as you can see, I can create whatever size I'd like. This is a bigger size than the one you could create with the Timmy die. And this is about the size that you can with the die. So um, I created these using the Martha Stewart um, scoreboard. And I'll show you guys quickly how I did that. So I have a strip of paper here that's cut at 12 inch by 1 inch. And what I've done is I'm going to go ahead and score it at a quarter inch all the way over to the end of the paper. And you're going to go ahead and create your, your folds back and forth like so. And I'm going to end up with four of these beautiful rosettes by the end of this video. I tried doing it once before and I ended up having to do it again because of technical difficulties with my glue gun. Um, okay, so I'm just folding back and forth along the score line like that. And you just want to do that all the way down the length of the paper. And... I love Timmy and I love his products, but if I can save money somewhere and spend it somewhere else, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, so I won't be getting that rosette die. Although if you do have the funds and you can afford it, then by all means do so. But this is for those of you who can't. Um, so there, you end up with this. And um, what you want to do now is glue your two pieces together. So here, I have that one piece and this one piece and I'm just going to go ahead and glue them together like so just to create another peak and valley. So I already have one done so it looks like this and I'm going to move my scoreboard and show you guys really quickly how to get the flower to form itself. So you just want to squish everything together and the flower naturally wants to go in this direction. So what I do is I push from the top down and it collapses on itself to form the flower. So I have that formed and you want to have two circle pieces um, cut out ahead of time and I'm just going to add some hot glue to one of these pieces. And I'm going to stick that directly onto my flower. There we go. Oops, of course you want to make the glue dry before you lift it up and show it off. <laughs> so, I didn't let the glue dry. Now it's dry somewhat. And that's the back of my flower. And this is the front, so again, squishing your pieces together as much as possible. I'm just going to add some glue directly to the flower. And you can go ahead now and add your button or whatever you're putting in the center. But for me, I'm just going to add this piece of paper just for the sake of time. And there's my rosette. And like I said, you can add a bling, you can add a button. And I'm just going to grab a button really quickly from my button jar. I think that one would be perfect. So I'm just going to add some glue gun to it. And stick that down directly onto my flower. And... To add the finishing touches, I'm going to use my emery board, if I can find it, just to rough up the edges a little bit, so it doesn't look so, and you can glimmer mist this, 
or just use your Tim Holtz. I'm going to be using my peeled paint just to stick with the Christmas themes. My peeled paint distress ink and my peeled paint tool. And I'm just going to ink up the edges just to get rid of that um, white core of the paper. And it also gives it that old grunge look. So there is my rosette. And here's one that I made earlier. And this is out of one and a half inch uh, by 12 inch strip of cardstock. And this one didn't grunge it up yet. There we go. Perfect. So there we go. I have my three rosettes that I made using my Martha Stewart scoreboard. Okay guys, hopefully this video was helpful to somebody. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching another Ice Scrap Happy video. Bye!